also pay attention, girl Joy. <laughs> I'm back again, y'all. <laughs> How you doing? Sydney, my other daughter, she's away at camp. Uh, I think she'll be at camp for another three weeks, too. And her birthday is July 20th, so this weekend I'll probably drive up to see her bring her a little cake or something. She don't even eat cakes. I don't even know what she eats. She said, like, oh, I want a carrot cake. Carrot cake where? She wants the one that I make. Carrot cake where? Who got an oven? Not me. Who got a stand mixer? Not me. All that's put away. That's put away, honey. So you better think of something else. Per. I'm going to drive up there to see her. Um, Bobby would come, but she has to drive back to Arkansas. And I would go with Bobby. But I have a training that I'm doing on Monday. And then I'm switching classrooms. So I have a lot of moving to do. A lot. Baby, if you happen to be in town, you want to help me move my classroom, come on down. Come on down. So anyway, I feel as though my sister teacher, she won't be there. So I'm just like, you know, I'll just move because I'm going to be teaching 6th grade and 7th grade. So it'll be my first time teaching 6th grade at this school. So anyway, and then Clinton, my son, he's going to be 22. So it's my daughter, so I have two girls and a boy. So, when Sydney, Sydney is about to turn 19. And so for one month, I'll have a 19 year old, a 20 year old, and a 21 year old. 19, 20, 21. <laughs> and then Clinton will turn 22. It's always been consecutive for one month. So with that said, with Clinton, Clinton is doing very well. He lives in Colorado. And I don't talk to him that much, but here and there we stay in touch. You know, sometimes look at their posts on Instagram. Um, he needed help trying to get an apartment. So he knows how to reach out when he needs something. So, okay, you know, being a mom, I do what I can. I do what I can. But sometimes I also think that family will be the first to take advantage of you as well. And I've been telling him he's, he's doing great, making great money. And, you know, I still pay for the cell phone, uh, car insurance. Well, Clinton, he doesn't have a car, but for the girls, so all about car insurance. And the girls, they really don't work. So Bobby's here for an internship, so she pays for her clothes. Sometimes she'll help out with the hotel, stuff like that. Sydney, um, she's making a little money to camp. It's paid. You know, she makes a few dollars. It's not much. It's a Christian camp. And so she, you know, has been paying some of her sorority dues and stuff like that. So she does. And if she needs clothes or stuff like that, she'll she'll take care of that. And she'll look for a job once the new um, school year starts for her. And so, but that's basically for, you know, necessities and stuff like that. But with Clinton, I'm like, you know, you're a full-fledged adult, working adult. You need to help pay cell phone bill has been two years you haven't contributed nothing so i think out of obligation as a parent you feel as though you have to do x y and z and it's it's frustrating when you give and give and give and it's not reciprocated so baby and i've been asking for a while now so i'm just like you know i don't want to cut somebody's phone off you got a job, you can afford it. You got a job, you promise you're gonna pay and never pay. Because we're so kind hearted and we want to do the best, you know, for others. We don't want to get them upset or something like that, that we are disrespecting ourselves. So like me with the cell phone, I don't care if you, your son, your mother, your cousin, uncle, brother, or whoever, if they have a means to help out a little bit, $5, $10, something. And I'm on a struggle bus and you just living your life, baby. Some people you just got to cut off. You have to say no. Baby, I remember the first time my mother told me no. I thought I was shot in the chest, child. I was like, what? What? No. Baby, I was done for. So I talked to the T-Mobile people today and I was trying to figure out the bill. The bill is expensive. I'm so tired of car insurance, cell phone bills. It's, 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 woo. And these are teenagers, you know, driving. So you know, if you know, you know. Okay, if you know, you know. 
so I need to research some other places but it's expensive it's expensive so I was like miss can I ask your opinion and I said do you have children she was like no she was a talker too I was like well you have Metro Natch because when I feel like talking is on and popping and when I don't I don't <laughs> And I told her the situation with my son, whatever. She was like, oh, she had the same situation with her brother. And, you know, she said, send me something. Give, give me something towards the bill. Never gave her anything for two and a half years. And she said, some people, you just have to cut them off. Because they will continue to take advantage of you and take you for granted as long as they can. They will continue to milk that cow till it's dry. They will continue to milk that cow till you have powdered milk. Okay? Well, we shouldn't allow people to treat us that way. You shouldn't allow anyone to treat you that way. Like I said, I don't care if it's a child, a cousin, a brother, uncle, something. And you know they have the means to help out too? Mm -mm. She said, well, you have two things that you can do. She said, you can suspend his number. And she said, sometimes that's enough to scare a person. <laughs> Am I still responsible for the bill while suspended? She said, yes. And then she said, or you can have the phone number. He can take over the phone number, the bill and everything. I said, okay, let's do that. And he has 30 days to, to get that done. And she said that if he doesn't adhere to the 30 days, then shut it off. Shut it off where he can transfer everything to him. And then that's off my plate. That's actually what, $60, $70, $75 that I don't have to pay. So I'm just like, it's just, it's just... It's just too much. I don't know. Some of you may say that I'm wrong and I'm mean. Whatever. I'm on my own struggle bus and you got a full job. You a manager somewhere. There, it, there comes a time when we need to stop enabling these kids. Parents are good for enabling kids. You know, and sometimes it's exhausting. No, they, they, they just live off the parent as long as they can. They latch on. You know, latch on lactation. Special, you know what I'm saying? They latch on and don't want to let go. Sometimes you have to sever those ties in order for that person to grow. And if that's something that you are doing, I am telling or suggesting to you, sometimes you have to cut people off. Okay? Especially when you don't see them, you know, trying to, 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 to build that great partnership or an agreement or something. Or they keep reneging on their agreement or promising you stuff. Mm-mm. Good night, blue cheese. So, baby, I, I sent a text. You have 30 days before your phone is cut off. You need to contact T-Mobile and have the phone transferred over to you. And I don't need to have another discussion because I already agreed and it's in the files that I want the number transferred to him. Okay, I asked for money for the phone. I asked for a few dollars. Still didn't get that. Good night, blue cheese. I I'm done. I'm done. I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna keep putting myself in that situation where I'm drowning drowning okay the hotel is a little grip it's not that bad but it's a little grip okay so i'm just like mm -mm, enough is enough enough is enough so i want you or if you choose to keep letting people walk all over you then you then you do that okay but no i'm just like it comes a time we have to let people go we have to let them go because if it's not bringing us any type of relief or uh, some type of agreement that we both agree on then baby you have to let it go you, it may hurt it may hurt and it may break some some sever some ties and some relationships but oh well you have to do what's best for you, you stop letting people walk all over you I, mama basil said so okay what what let them say what they're gonna say stop period and that's on mary and all her lambs okay because i said so Mm -mm. It's time to reclaim your time. You're reclaiming your time, your time, your energy, whatever. And sometimes it could be an energy drain. It doesn't have to be anything financial. It could be an emotional drain or something like that. So I do have some people that are like every time they talk to me, it's always something negative, negative. I'm like, oof. <laughs> Ooh, let me walk down a different hallway today because I just don't have the mental capacity for it today i just don't want to hear it and you hearing the same thing over and over you have to protect your peace if something doesn't make you feel comfortable or makes you feel uncomfortable protect your peace because at the end of the day 
you have you. You have to protect you. You have to be emotionally right here. Even if you have little children, you still need to protect this up here. Okay? What good are you going to be for your children if you're not protecting this? Take back your power, honey. Say no. Say no, I'm not doing it. Mm -mm. You know that, that video? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Get somebody else to do it. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Take back your power. Take back your power. Take back your power. Say no. I'm not doing any more. Okay? And, and, and this, this, I'm going I'm to go because I could, I could feel the preacher come on out now. The preacher's coming out. And then people always feel as though they're obligated to a family or somebody who has done something for them. And you, you have that sense of obligation. Oh, I got, I got to do it. Or they're, or they're my family. Or they're my mother, my father. Sometimes we got to cut those off too. Because let me tell you, I've heard some stories where a parent don't put a credit card in the child's name or, or whatever. I've heard some stories. Sometimes you have to reflect. Some people you have to let go. That doesn't mean you have to stop loving them. But what it boils down to, you have to be important to you. Because you know what? The people who are walking all over you, walking all over us, they're worried about themselves, not you. You feel me? You, you feel you picking up what I'm putting down? So, baby, take back your power, honey. Say no. Say no more. Think about it. Reflect on it. You can say I'm wrong if you want to. Then go ahead. That's your business. That's your prerogative. But I'm done. And with that said, have a lovely day. I hope this message has touched you in some kind of way. Hey, hey, hey. And if you are still here, I appreciate you. I love you. You know, you guys have been my support, my backbone. For the past five six years yes you have and you were <laughs> and you are <laughs> so i appreciate the old and the new so with that said baby it's going on 6 30. i haven't eaten anything your girl needs to eat that my sandwich gonna be big and it is all right y'all until next time